In this video, we will learn how to check the connectivity between the servers. We will check the TCP port connection and the UDP port connectivity between the servers. Here we have taken two servers, one is a RHL server and another is a central server and we will check the connection. So, friends, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe the channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. So, let's start the video. For TCP port, we have to, we will take the uh, 22 port and for the UDP port, we will take 1, 2, 3. Uh, that is a NTP port and we will check the connectivity between the servers. So for TCP, uh, use the command net then the server IP address 192.168.47.128 we can also take the uh, other server IP address 129 and the port is the 22 port here you can say connect say connected connected to the IP address this IP is the central server IP address that means from 128 to 129 connection to 22 is successful that means we can connect to the server 129 from the 128 server so how we will do that here we have to use the command ssh root at the rate then IP address of the remote server it is the central server remote server now here it is asking me for the password that is root now you can see connection is successful now check the ip address ipa you can see ip is the 47.129 that means from 120 server we are successfully connected to the 129 server so now check so what we will do now we will uh, stop the SSH service from the central server System CTL stop SSHD dot service now take the status of the server you can see uh, this is inactive that means SSH service is stopped so now try to connect to the remote server you can see connect to connect address and connection repute that means from 128 or to dinner service connection is not working because of the service is stopped so whenever required we can check the connection between the servers using the telnet command for the TCP port here 22 is the TCP port now start the service started check the status you can see started service started now check the connection you can see connection is successful so this is the way to check the tcp port connection to the remote server now we will check the udp port connection udp port connection uh, command will be nc minus v minus u minus z then remote server ip address 192.168.47.129 then port 123 you can see this is also connected that means to check the udp port we have to use the command nc and these are the options here we have used and this is the remote server ip address so using the nc command we can check the connection of the udp port to the remote server friends if you want to know what is uh, port what is ip address and what is the uh, why connection is required that means why uh, testing of connection or uh, uh, why we will check the connection between the servers please comment me in the comment section so that i can i will make another video for this uh, thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment thank you